What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another uh, one take review. And today we got one for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 81, um, which is another action packed chapter. But I think this one leaves us with like more to the imagination because a lot of things that happen in here kind of like lead to, I think, some stuff we uh, as fans been wanting to see or, or just like returning characters that we might get a chance to like uh, to see. Um, but the, the chapter starts off. Obviously, Gas has complete control of everything now because he's calm and, and he's just overpowered. And there's there's pretty much no being no being. It feels like there's no being Gas right now. I right, you know what I'm saying. So it, it it is what it is. And Gas, I don't know. Gas uses his conqueror's hockey or whatever spiritual pressure, whichever version of that you want to call it, <laughs> to uh, immobilize like Goku and Vegeta to the point where they can't move. Um, but you know who's still up? Granola. And Granola won't his lick back. Granola goes not out the gas, but out the elect smart move. Cause like, hey, he's not as strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why not try to take him out? You feel me? But still doesn't work. Yep. Uh gas is two on point, teleports granola to another point. That is dope to like gas. I feel like gas <laughs> abilities is like whatever you need at that moment. Okay, whatever you need at that moment, because I was thinking myself, maybe he could. I thought he was going to uh, teleport himself up there to, to you know, block the blow, but no, he literally just pointed at Elect and transport him. Elect talking like he obviously talks shit. He he has this like superiority complex now because it's like, bro, my little brother is the coldest in the world. It's like <laughs> it's like having that person. Who their brother in the league? You feel me? <laughs> it's like no, it's, it's just like being a little kid too. It's like you killing somebody, you hooping, you busting their ass, pause. But like they big brother in the league, like I go get my big brother. You like, all right, bro. <laughs> you really can't do nothing about it. So that's how uh, a leg is operating. You're like my little brother, I hold it down. You know what I'm saying? And like, bro, I spared you. I don't care about I killed your mom. I spared you. So you know, you should be thanking me. And I'm spamming you right now, technically, because Gas just obliterates this man's arms. Like, like you, you feel bad for him. He just obliterates this man's arms. And then Elect shoots him in the back. Cold shot, though. Can't lie, it's a cold shot, you feel me? But then, then, then things start to change because, okay, he shoots him in the back. He lands in the water. Obviously, I had no thought that he would die. You know what I'm saying? But I think I think the pacing sometimes in Dragon Ball Super is kinda where well, the manga is kinda off because I think they should let certain things linger longer than they do. Uh because we see gas uh, uh we see Elect shoot uh Granola this arc, I mean this chapter, but we also see him recover. You know what I'm saying? I kinda feel like there's times where you should let the chapter breathe or just certain instances like breathe on into the next chapter and then like reveal the old monados, like healing them. I I get why they did it this uh, way because they really needed a reason for uh uh gas to attack Monado. But like even when like Vegeta went ultra uh, ultra ego and Granola unlocked the power at the end of the chapter, I'm just like you should have let the chapter breathe with Vegeta winning and they're like you know what I'm saying? Then see just a glimpse of what Granola had planning. You know what I'm saying? So that people could give time for people to speculate. I would have wanted to speculate. Oh, was like, oh, what's his name? Miles? Is Manado going to save him? Stuff like that, you know? That's just always been uh, something. Granted, I, I'm, I've been loving the manga as of late. But I, it's just something I, I, I've noticed and I, I wanted them to, like, you know, uh, mess around with it a little bit. Now, Vegeta... For whatever reason, gives Goku the last of his remaining energy to, in order to take down gas. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I, I, I'm, I'm looking back at like previous chapters. If we just think about it for a second, put on all thinking caps, who's more damaged? Yes, last chapter, Vegeta, Vegeta got kicked by gas. True enough. But do we not remember the fact that before that, Goku was fighting Gas to hold him off until Vegeta went and got the Sensu Bean, and Vegeta chose not to give take the Sensu Bean himself. 
he gave it to Granola. But Goku was getting his ass whooped by gas that whole time. So I, I'm kind of just thinking to myself, like, why? I, why is Akira keeping a Vegeta away from gas? Now, I honestly don't have an issue with Vegeta giving it the last of his strength to, to Goku. I'm just kind of, I, I don't know why Vegeta would do that. And especially after we've seen what Vegeta's able to do, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, why Goku didn't give him the strength to him? Obviously, Goku's the main character, but I don't know. It just seemed like uh, Akira's keeping Akira and Toriyama are keeping uh, Vegeta away from gas for some reason. Granted, I I said this a, a while ago that if Granola would have stayed the antagonist, then I that felt like. It, Vegeta's win to get, especially because like how the characters uh, mimic one another, and how Vegeta that's how Vegeta used uh, Granola's character is kind of sort of how Vegeta used to be, but in this instance, I feel like I don't mind Goku, or I, I matter of fact, I probably would prefer Goku or Granola to be the one to defeat Gas. Uh, well, almost because I think there's another person who might play a. A play a key factor in all of this, but um, yeah. The reason I the reason the reason I say that is because uh, uh Gas already have a vendetta against Bardock, which he brings up again in this chapter, and and of course you know uh, Granola has the whole thing with them. But I seen to me it seems as though they gonna say the let kill for Granola, and I think Goku's probably ultimately gonna get the uh the win on. Uh, 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 gas. Vegeta doesn't really need a win in this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? It, like neither one of these characters interest him. Like he has no problem with no qualms with them at all, other than the fact that they're trying to kill him. And, but like that, that I don't think that really means anything too special. That's why another one of the things I wanted to see was like this arc transition into another arc. I don't, I don't want Granola the Survivor arc to be the end all be all. I personally would prefer it if it, this was something like an Android saga that goes into a Cell saga type deal. To me, that would make more sense because you bring in Frieza. Now you have three people, Elect, uh, Gas, and Frieza. You know, and I've always said this multiple times. I prefer more, more than one main antagonist because of where the shows become to where it's, I mean, it's obviously Goku and Vegeta centric, but every time you just have one main antagonist, you kind of like diminish another one of those characters roles, you know, like even back in the moral arc, when you have Vegeta literally having to punch the earth to use spirit vision to like weaken Moro, I'm like, uh, that worked, but like when you're just looking at it, it, it's not as entertaining as you would want it to be. You feel me? Like, oh, he's just punching the ground. There's a technique to working, but it's like, okay, Goku's obviously uh, the one doing the uh, the main stuff uh, in the in the fight. But uh, Goku uh, gets back to fighting, and something else that happened in this chapter, and I thought we was going to get I thought we was going to get something, because like I said, gas is powers. Seems to be able to do whatever you need them to do in whatever moment. When he was talking to Goku about uh, uh, Bardock and Bardock's fierceness and when he fights, he said, I don't see that in you. He said, well, I bought my hair when I was a kid. And I, was like, I don't know much. I don't know anything about my dad or the other Saiyans. And, and Granola, po I mean, not Granola. Oh, I keep getting those names confused. Gas pointed and I thought he was about to you know, bring those memories back or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But nah, it was just, you know, him using the technique. Because, I don't, and I don't think they keep bringing up the uh, the, the Bardock stuff. I don't know how we're going to get something between Goku and Bardock. But, it I feel like it has to happen in, in, in some, capac some, some capacity to where we get to see Goku maybe interact with them or or something along those lines, man. I, I, I just feel like, it might just be fan service, but I think that's good fan service. Sometimes fan service actually works to like progress the story, and I think that'll be a great thing for like Goku's character because, like I said, Bardock wasn't a good person, but I think he had a moment in where he like he uh he showed something different, and um I think the whole Go Bardock going Super Saiyan kind of like gets threw out the window. The reason I say that is because when Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue. 
I think um, I think Gas probably would have like said, "Hey, oh, your hair is kind of like your dad's was, except a different color." I think he would have mentioned something like that. So I think the whole Bart out going Super Saiyan theory is it's, it's kind of out the window at this point. Yeah, that that's what I personally think. I could be wrong, obviously. Like I said, I say this many a times. I I'm wrong often, but it is what it is. That fight commences. <laughs> Goku's heavily outmatched it. And uh, Gas is steady using technique after technique, bringing stuff. He's hitting him. Goku. Goku's attacking him. I can't wait to see a lot of these fights animated because I think the attention to detail in these fights is like really unique. And uh, Gas's fight style is something unique to Dragon Ball as well. I think we've seen the boar like flirt with the like creating um, weapons and stuff out of energy. But like, Gas does it to like the highest degree in the way he's like bringing them and he's in Goku with like uh uh the little uh, uh bullet trains and stuff all of those different things. But Monado is over there trying to say no no before that before that before that. Goku's drowning. <laughs> he launches a key blast at uh, uh Gas. Gas curls it up. It just looks amazing, bro. The art is is on point. And he fires it back and just blasts Goku. But obviously, this Goku was in the water. Just so happened to be where uh, Granola had uh, fallen as well. So now you see Monado trying to heal it because he don't want him to die. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, they definitely finna kill Monado's character. He's going to be able to heal Granola. But he's, his character's about to die. Nope. I, Goku uses instant transmission to transport him and Gas to another planet. A planet where I guess Goku sensed Jocko. Goku, you quick thinking. And they have a little scuffle. But Goku tells him, hey, your your technique is not as good. Basically, said, your technique is not as good as, as good as mine. I've been using this for a while now. And we saw that. We saw when Granola was using it. It's faster than Goku's. It's some kind of way, but I think Goku was able to like travel longer distances, and like once again, Goku was like accustomed to using the uh, instant transmission. So, but I do think Gas is a quick learner, which we've seen, and he's eventually gonna catch on. Cause now they're transporting—I mean, uh, using instant transmission to go to another planet, and we know that in order for Goku to use instant transmission, he has to sense a power level. Jocko just so happened to be in a close, a close enough planet for uh, Goku to sense his power level to go there. So now apparently Goku sensed another power level close enough to that planet. There's two. There's two people he could possibly be going to a planet that 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 they're on. Obviously, it can be some of like Freezer's goons, but he could, he could be you know use instant transmission. To go to a planet that freezes on. Okay. Which would not be the best thing for him. Considering the fact he's already fighting somebody. I think Freezer may. Freezer obviously knows gas. He'd be like oh no you. You work with the leg. You're a lot taller than the last time I saw you. How did you do that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know Freezer want to want to grow a little bit. But I think everybody's common. <laughs> theory and hope that we see. Is uh. Goku goes to Planet Vampa. And we know who on Vampa. And, 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 and listen, guys, if you want to be the strongest in the universe, <laughs> if you want to be the strongest in the universe, bro, it's somebody you have to face, man. And that's that, hey, <laughs> that's that green-eyed, green-haired monster, baby. <laughs> I won't, I, listen, I, I just feel like I need, uh, <laughs> My bad. I feel like I need Broly versus Gas right now. I feel like that's the that's the one we gotta have. I feel like undoubtedly that's the fight I need to see because we know how strong Goku and Vegeta have gotten since the last time they fought Broly. Okay, okay. Goku or Vegeta didn't have Ultra Ego when he fought him. Goku didn't have MUI when he fought him. And we, but we still know they they have to go, they have to fuse go Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta just to defeat Broly, right? They've gotten stronger, but they've also still been surpassed by two other people. 
We uh, and I think this art actually takes place before the Dragon Ball Super superhero film, which leads me to believe because we see in that Dragon Ball Super superhero film that they're training with Broly. So we know that Goku and Vegeta have already been around Broly training with them. We don't know if Broly has some full control over his legendary Super Saiyan form, but I think this art, <laughs> this art will be a good time to see. I, I, I me personally, I love chaotic bro okay but to see a more calm collected broly and whatever form that may look like i'm here for it and we know even if even if the fight starts off and gas is stronger than broly we know it's just a matter of time <laughs> just like vegeta said the title of the strongest only lasts for a little while before you know it swaps over to the next person and I know for a fact, when you're fighting Broly, that might change a few different times. So, I'm really, really, really hoping that they uh, <laughs> that they um have that. And that's the planet that Goku goes to. Because Goku needs some help, obviously. And I don't know if he's going to ask uh, Broly for help. Or he just, you know, it might be a quick thing where Gas, like, tries to, you know, attack Broly. And Broly quickly like brushes it off and then goku like i'm sorry bro i got i'm about i get out of here uh, uh uh i didn't mean to bring him to your planet and he just dips out but we see just like in that instance of like you no know, bro is still like that you know what i'm saying some shit like that bro that should have that should have had me geek dog i ain't gonna even lie to you uh <laughs> man you got <laughs> Bro, I, I I'm I don't know. I have like some hope. I, my my hopes are pretty high now. You feel me? I, I need something like that. Um, you guys, <laughs> let me know what y'all think because I think this just like up the ante a bit. And I just I, and I, I honestly want Goku to like go to a few different planets. Like I want it to be like a cat and mouse game. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of want to see that, but ultimately I want I do want to see him go to Planet Vamp. We know Vampa is pretty far off. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't want them to go see Beers and Weez, though. I don't want them to be involved in this at all. I kind of, like, want them to be separated because I kind of feel like a lot of times they feel like a scapegoat or just, you know, there just to be there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really want him to go there. Uh, I don't think he has to go to Earth. I just explore the universe in, like, different facets, you know. So I, I, that's what I want to see. But uh, I, I, I like this chapter just because of, like, what it implies that can possibly happen. Now, as far as Vegeta still being left on uh, 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 um, Jesus Christ. What's the name of the planet? So not the, 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 it's not Cerulean. I can't think of the name of the planet. I know that I know the people on it are called Cerulean, but the planet has another name. Shigarian. No, they call Shigarian. Planet Syria. Okay. N nonetheless, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But um, Vegeta's there with Elect, um, or Mikey. I injured Vegeta can beat them. So I want to know what they gonna do while Goku and Gas are gone. You know, because Vegeta wanted to. I think, even though he gave most of his strength, damn near all of his strength to Goku. I mean, it's fucking Vegeta, bro. I don't think he have a tough. That, they don't seem like the toughest people. You feel me? So I kind of wonder what's gonna happen with that as well. Uh, you guys, let me know what y'all thought about the chapter down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe. And I can catch up with you guys later. Peace.